I went to undergrad at Wake Forest University, North Carolina, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And um, my, uh, my degree is a Bachelor of Science in Biology there. And um, my course of study there involved um, mostly the, the macro scale of biology, animals, um, ecology, evolution, um, zoology, uh, things like that. Um, uh, my minor interest at Wake Forest was in the fine arts. So um, the combination of those things kind of plays well into what followed, which was law school at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. And there I focused primarily on intellectual property. With my science background, it was a perfect fit. And, well, with the art background as well. Um, copyright and trademarks involve a lot of creativity and art, and so that played well also, although patents is my was and is my focus. Um, following law school, I um, initially went to Dickstein Shapiro, where I worked for 12 years. Dickstein Shapiro is a, a national law firm. I think now they probably have about 350 attorneys, um, possibly a few more. Um, national presence, headquartered in Washington, D.C. And I started there in the IP group, which at the time had 28 attorneys, and while I was there, grew to over 100. And um, so at, at Dickstein, I practiced um, patent litigation and uh, non-litigation patent things like patent prosecution, counseling, uh, licensing. And as I said, I did that for 12 years. I uh, was involved in substantial and literally historic cases um, where we, you know, we received jury verdicts of over a billion dollars for uh, Dr. Bruce Safran, who's an inventor of um, a layer and method of using a layer and the layer directionally releases um, drug and the the defendants in those cases were uh, medical device companies that I'm sure you've heard of that would make um, cardiovascular drug eluding stents which infringed. Um, so as I said I worked there for 12 years after um, uh, finishing the second of three cases, I decided it was probably a good time to, to make a move. We had a little gap in, in the work going on there, and I spoke with Ken Lopez, the head of A2L Consulting, founder and CEO, and said, you know, if you're ever looking for somebody, um, let me know. And he let me know. And so I got a chance to come to A2L and uh, kind of get back to my creative roots, which as a patent attorney, you don't really get to, to flex your creativity muscles too much. And so it's been a very nice change to come back and, and be able to think with the other side of my brain for a while. 